Hi, this is John West with another video in the MupFence.com video series, this one on in-ground fence wiring basics. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the different components that make up your electronic in-ground pet fencing system and how to connect together those components for a successful installation. Now, the first component we'll talk about is the transmitter. The transmitter is a box of electronics. You'll plug it into an outlet and it's responsible for generating and transmitting the fence signal down the fence wire. Ultimately, it's this signal that will be picked up through the air by your dog's electronic collar as he or she approaches the boundary of the fence. On the right side of the transmitter here, there are two white dots. They're representing the terminals that you'll connect the wire to. You can think of one terminal as send, one terminal as receive, and the fence has to form a loop from the send terminal to the receive terminal of the transmitter. And we'll build that picture as we go. First thing we've done here is connected the twisted pair wire to the transmitter terminals. Twisted pair wire, as its name suggests, is a pair of wires that are twisted together. They're separately insulated and twisted together. The effect of this is that they carry the signal from A to B. In this case, from the transmitter to the signal boundary. But they do not transmit that signal to your dog's collar. This means that your dog can cross that blue line. So Twisted Pair is very useful to carry the fence signal but not broadcast it to your dog's collar. At the end of the Twisted Pair wire, we've connected a pair of wire splices. These are T-shaped devices on the horizontal part of the T. You'll connect the wire. The vertical part of the T you can push into the ground to securely locate the splice in place. More commonly though, they are burial grade devices, so they would be normally buried under the soil with the fence wire. Next, we've connected the signal wire to the splices and run the signal wire around the enclosure. Something very important with electronic fencing systems is the twisted pair wire is a pair of wires. It's two wires. The signal wire is a single wire. So when you join twisted pair to signal wire, you're always joining two wires into one. So if you follow the trace from the top terminal of the transmitter along the twisted pair wire, we end up joining the wire splice here, running around the enclosure, back to the other side at the bottom splice, the other part of the twisted pair and back into the other side of the transmitter. So this system forms a loop from one pole of the transmitter to the other pole of the transmitter. So we have a properly functioning fence system. The effect of that is your dog, when wearing the electronic collar, will be enclosed in that red area. Remembering again, he can cross the twisted pair wire. If you run out of signal wire, you can splice more signal wire together. Because it's one wire, you just need a single splice to do this. Signal wire is in 500 foot spools, so when you run out, another splice, another spool of wire, and you can continue wiring the enclosure. You can join any number of these together. Just be aware that some fence transmitters have a limit to the amount of wire that they can support. Well, thank you for watching. More information is available at mutfence.com slash in dash ground. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, dog behavior, dog training, tips and tricks about the products that we carry, as well as some fun stuff at youtube.com slash Good dogs made easy.